Well, here, here's where I think you might differ. Uh, I'm pretty sure you do. <clears throat> I actually think Trey Lance is the best quarterback on this team right now. Uh, and I think he's showing in that he can hit these passes. I think he is a lot more accurate. I mean, he's – according to David Lombardi, David Lombardi has him at 69% in his practice compared to Brock Purdy, 65%, uh, Sam Donald, 64%. So he's already hitting at a higher clip right now than those guys in training camp. So th there's really – I think Trey Lance is already the best quarterback, and I think he's going to continue to improve. Um, and the reasons you pointed out how, how he likes to work, that's one of the reasons I think he's going to be good. But there's a lot more uh, to it, in my opinion, why I think he's going to be good. L like I said, I think I need to clarify my, my take on Brock Purdy. Uh, you know, last preseason – I said, Brock Purdy is very intriguing to me, right? You can check my tweets. I said, he seems like a playmaker. Um, all these things I, I, you could tell in preseason, right? And I think he is a good quarterback. He worked the clock down in that yeah. first game. You could see he had some veteran tendencies. I, I like what I saw from Brock Purdy, and I still like what I, I see from Brock Purdy. I think here, the thing for me is that I feel like what all the great things that Brock Purdy has about him, I think that Trey Lance either has or will get – with more repetition in time. But I think there's things that about Trey Lance that no matter what Brock Purdy does, I don't think he's going to be able to get. And that's why to me, Brock Trey Lance has always been the more, more exciting prospect. Um, and the guy that I think can be elite, like I feel a little different about you. I'm not sure if either one of these guys can be franchise quarterbacks, but if I had to put my money on one, it would be Trey Lance just because of he has to me that higher upside. And so, you know, I, let me ask you a question. If you think both of these guys are franchise quarterbacks, yep. do you think Trey Lance has a higher upside? Yeah, well, he's got a better physical profile. There's no question about it. Um, he's big. He's bigger. He's stronger. You know, when he throws anything on a line, like he had a throw yesterday in practice that was just awesome. It was, a, it was about an 18-yard uh, you can't even really call it a slant because it was a slant usually within 10 yards of the line of scrimmage. It was almost like a skinny post. And he had Brandon, he had uh, Brandon Ayuk and he just freaking let it rip. I mean, and it was a, it was an unbelievable laser. Um, the other day after he missed a short pass in the flat, and I forget who it was too. I think he threw it at like maybe Braden Willis's feet or JP Mason's feet. He tried to throw it soft mm -hmm. and it just landed softly. Well, he was a move the ball drill, and that was second down, and it was like second and 10, and now he was staring at a third and 10. He comes back, and I'm standing right on the sideline, and he just rips one to, uh, to, to I think it was Jennings, um, for a first down through three or four defenders that were all in the area, but he put so much speed on it that it was just like uh, right in there, just pumped it right in there. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, I mean, he makes the kinds of throws that Brock can't make, for sure. He makes the kinds of throws that very few quarterbacks can make. Um, he's got unbelievable arm strength, and um, now the ball's coming out. I mean, like last year, you know, it's funny. I, Shanahan talked about this, you know, and he said, well, he was always hurt, and he never – last year he had these high-speed wobble passes that – I mean, even in the regular season, in the short sample sample size, we saw these like, you know, the ball that really wobbles, but it's got a lot of arm speed to it. That's like the hardest ball to catch there is. Um, to me, his ball this year is so much more catchable because he's thrown a consistent tight spiral. Mm -hmm. um, and all of the cut routes, the ins, the outs, um, are all he can just make those throws um, and just, you know, if Shanahan can scheme open the mid range in the intermediate, like he did for Brock and for, for, uh, Garoppolo, I think, uh, Trey can excel in that intermediate range all day and all night, um, because of how he throws and the fact that there's, these guys are wide open. The only thing I'll say about the stats is that Purdy is the only guy of the three, four quarterbacks so far mm -hmm. that has shown, um, like he's he's gone up top the most. Like when I say up top, I'm not talking about a 15 yard pass. I'm talking about down the field. Purdy's going down the field the most. Darnold, Lance, and Allen, for the most part, they've gone down the field. I would say two times each, three times each. We're mm -hmm. not seeing those deep throws as much. We're seeing 
intermediate throws and shorts. The Niners have thrown a ton of short throws, which is we'll get to this later about why the completion is, percentage is Brock is connecting on those deep throws, or is he just throwing them? Uh, he's he's he connected on them during the move the ball segment in the practice two days ago, which was like the hardest practice of the year. He mm-hmm. connected on two, one to Debo, one to Ayuk. Um, other than that, he it was the first day he he you know threw two deep balls beyond the receiver. I think he was just trying to show, hey guys, I got arm strength, so he was going to overshoot him. Um, he for the most part is not connecting on those. He's yeah. connected on, I would say three or four of them. But I mean. The rest of the guys, I don't even know if combined for four deep throw attempts. Like last year, we saw Trey going up upfield. This mm-hmm. year, he looks like, hey, you know what? In the move the ball drills, I'm going to take what the defense gives me, and I'm just going to live all day with the high completion percentage uh, underneath. They're throwing a lot more. They're throwing a lot more to their running backs. We'll get to Grant Cohn's tweet about this. He did a whole chart of yeah. where you know the throws and the receptions thus far. If you look at those numbers, the, there's a ton of balls going to the running backs, and there's a ton of balls going the, underneath. Sorry for interrupting. Wasn't that the question about Trey Lance? So when I was there on that Monday, I don't know if you remember. I think it was Monday. One of those days, Trey Lance threw to George Kittle deep. It was like 35-yard line, right between the safeties and the DB. Amazing pass. That was the best pass of, uh, that I that I got to saw. But I don't think, you know, no one really has questioned Trey Lance as far as his deep throw ability, right? We saw the one to Danny Gary in the preseason. I think he was uh, 60% uh, so far in his career on the deep balls. I think the question that that everyone always – and I think people have it wrong also. People question his short ball ability. But statistically, he was only about 5% percentage points less than Brock. Where Brock was way better than Trey Lance statistically throughout their career was – those intermediate throws. And so to me, it's actually a great thing that I'm hearing Trey Lance is working on those intermediate throws because that's the area where he struggled the most. And I think Jeff Christensen really helped him. Also him getting healthy, his finger, all that good stuff. Uh, I think the fact that he is working on those intermediate throws is probably the best thing he could do right now. No doubt. Um, to me, I, you know, I, I did a, a video the other day on the quarterbacks, and I said, okay, here is the path for all three guys to the starting job. For Brock, he's got to show that he hasn't lost arm strength, ball speed, and he's got to demonstrate he can he can get he can throw you know with a lot of the same velocity at least that he had a year ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, if he loses velocity, he's not the same guy. And I said, if he can't. The defenders aren't going to need to defend the entire length of the field or width of the field, and they're going to defend the Niners the same way they did under Jimmy. They're going to give them the deep deep third, not worry about it. Everything outside the hashes, they're just not going to worry about. They're going to cheat inside late in the down. He's going to throw picks, and that's going to be a problem. So that's his – to me, that's his bugaboo. For mm-hmm. Trey, it's about – you know, he's got plenty of arm strength and he processes fine. Mm-hmm. It's all about the touch and the timing. As long as he can throw with touch and timing, then he's going to be able to get all the layups and keep the team on the field and keep it, keep drives going. That's going to be the key for him. And for Darnold, he's got 90 or he's got yeah 90 turnovers between fumbles and, and picks yeah. in 56 career games. He's got to show that he can avoid turnovers and if he does, he's got a shot to be an NFL starting quarterback. Yeah. 